this story was sent to me or tagged to me by one of my followers on Twitter. Shout out to Nation. He wanted me to talk about this extremely badly. I could sense I could sense the urgency through the tweet, and it was actually posted by Tariq Nasheed. And this is that typical uh, story that many of you've heard before. Before, but before I get really into it, let me just frame it by this: Fuck her. That's all I have to say before I begin. And you'll see why in a couple of minutes. So this woman's name is Maria Gonzalez. And she was $9,000 in debt. She owed a $9,000 debt to some subcontractors. She had no way to pay it. She, I'm guessing, had no other side hustles. It's clear she probably didn't win the lottery. So she you know, had to pay this debt off. So what's the thing that she comes up with? Well, she awakens her inner white woman and decides to say that she was kidnapped and sexually assaulted by two masked men. But not just any two masked men, two black masked men. You know how I know her story was some bullshit? How would she know that both the men were black if they had masks on? It's not like the people who would have did it would have came out and said, by the way, we're really black underneath these masks. That would be dumb of them. No one would do that. That I would, I would want to smack them myself for being so dumb. But this is, again, another thing where you have women out here falsely accusing black men and using mess scapegoat for sexual assault because the world at large has painted black men as being these sexual deviants. Why do you think the Me Too and the Time's Up movement constantly goes after black men in a way that they would not go after any other man that's not black, especially white? And this is a so-called brown woman. You know, to have that whole black and brown coalition thing that they were that's supposed to be around that I, that is not true no I don't believe it there there is no black and brown coalition as far as I'm concerned they it's us versus them I mean, one time I said that at one of my videos and a troll came and they got upset that I even said that well fuck them too so this woman was you know, examine. They questioned her for hours, for a couple of hours, and eventually her story slipped because they didn't believe her story. I think nowadays, I think the establishment is starting to figure out that whenever they make black men escape go to a lot of these stories, that many, much of it is proven to be false. And rightfully so. It's been many a black men who have gotten hemmed up because of lies such as this over the years, over the decades. But I'm just trying to figure out why did she think her life was going to go that far? Now, if it was up to me in punishing her, she would still be in debt. But not only that, we would send her ass right back across the border, whether she's legal or not, whether she's born here or not. There has to be consequences with these type of actions and I wish that doing something like this would be considered a hate crime because they're not going to label it a hate crime I mean why would they that would take the heat off of us and put it onto them however it would stop them from actually doing it I swear we are always when I say we I'm talking about black men are always the target of something like this It's just that this time it wasn't a white woman. But like I said, she woke up her in a white woman when she did it and decided, hey, if I can get out of paying this debt, the only thing I may have to do is say someone kidnapped and sexually assaulted me. See, the thing is, she was using this in hopes that she was going to get money out of it to pay off her debt. I don't know how she got into debt, but that's her fault. They need to bring her up on as many charges as possible. No slaps on the wrist, but then again, this is Fresno, California. We're talking about keyword California, the most liberal state 
where they had some of the most wildest and bizarre laws I think mankind has ever seen. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The link to the merch will be down below. I'll talk to you in the next one.